So dear students, in this video I will make you able to understand the concept of sexual reproduction in Spirogara with reference to lateral conjugation process. So let's start to watch this video till end. My friends, how Spirogara sexual reproduction takes place this particular concept I have introduced you in previous video. So sexual reproduction it is more often accomplished by the conjugation mechanism which is generally also called as a fusion which is not takes place uh, in such a way that it is considered as one of the primitive method of a isogamous type of a sexual reproduction it involves the fusion of the entire content of the two similar unspecialized vegetative cells when the latter becomes yoked according to the tiffany during 1924 he published his data and uh, he suggests that the pectos which is present there in a cell wall it does uh, water soluble uh, so that form is get produced that is called as a pectin and this pectin is responsible to seize the filamentous use that movement uh, whereas uh, according to the Pesoni, he said that uh, lower concentration of a nitrogen and high light intensity that may be also the one more inducing factor or enhancement factor over there which causes the conjugation and of course uh, if you remember uh, in previous uh, video if you have seen carefully i have said that the conjugation uh, in, in it is in the mean of a sexual reproduction and it takes place uh, toward the end of a growing season basically so scalary form of a conjugation uh, is uh, uh, the first type which we have seen in previous lecture if you remember that particular part uh, of scalary form conjugation uh, it is most common occurrence and it takes place over there uh, in between the opposite cells of the two neighboring filaments it is also called as the dioecious conjugation and it is seen in all dioecious species over there in which filament are unisexual basically and uh, in fact uh, uh, the latter conjugation what we are going to, to study today or uh, discuss uh, in this particular video is rarely found and uh, takes place between the two adjacent cells of the same filament it is also known as a monoecious conjugation what it means it indicates the filaments they are bisexual in nature so uh, let's start with a more discussion on the sexual reproduction with reference to lateral conjugation so please watch this video till the end and if you are having any doubts uh, you can put it into the comment box also so my dear friends uh, in case of a lateral conjugation the adjacent cells of the spirogara species they functions as a male and female gametes over there and of course this conjugation uh, it uh, is identified or recognized that definitely by means of a conjugation tube over there uh, and uh, here the conjugation bridge or conjugation tubes they are established in the same filament so lateral conjugation which is uh, further investigated under two categories one is called as a direct lateral conjugation and second one is called as a indirect lateral conjugation so the as far as concerned that lateral con uh, direct lateral conjugation the passage is formed between two adjacent cells through the middle lamella and uh, male gametes they starts to get fused with female gametes by producing the zygote the reproduction ends over there in but in fact the zygotes which are recorded there they may be in the form of alternate cells over there in case of a indirect lateral conjugation you will find it out that conjugation canal is produced and by the cells which are having the male gametes and join to the adjacent cell having the female gamete in fact so as far as concerned with this lateral conjugation uh, the very first type we will discuss uh, and that is known as an indirect lateral conjugation and you know it is the rare, uh, perhaps uh, uh, it is the rare uh, rarest rare case over there which may be uh, met with uh, spirogara various species uh, uh, very few species uh, are there and uh, the species like as a spirogara affinis uh, in fact uh, is more studied or more extensively known over there so uh, it is uh, quite common in case of a spirogara affinis that is the fact which is now get well established during lateral conjugation the adjacent cells of the same filament they starts to get conjugate and it is known as a chain conjugation basically so this is the one more term what you have to remember that is chain conjugation and uh, the papilla which are actually produced uh, here or papilla like structures or outgrowths which are arising there uh, from the adjacent cell one of uh, uh, on each uh, either side of the uh, transverse wall that uh, separate them uh, it always happens that the papillae are arising from this position only and uh, as you can see in this uh, figure a the uh, details of, of the or positions of the papilla which are arising from very close to the area of a transverse wall septum over there 
so let's move to the next part of uh, this event uh, as a protrusion it starts to grow outward the septum also it becomes uh, stretched out between them and uh, you can see here that due to the protrusion the septum it is get stretched out and break is arising over there eventually so uh, as per uh, as per as concerned with uh, the another event the protoplast of one cell it starts to get migrate to the another very slowly through this lateral conjugation canal actually and of course the fusion between the two protoplast it takes place uh, and uh, a zygospore is get produced here as you can see in the diagram c so this type of a zygospore formation it is uh, taking place in, uh, in the way where there is no direct contact of uh, gametes is there so it's called as an indirect lateral conjugation basically so if we look about the fact detection fact about a uh, uh, sex in case of sex differences in case of a di during a lateral conjugation species indirect lateral conjugation inducing uh, species over there so it is uh, observed that the species uh, exhibiting this type of a method of a conjugation they are generally monoecious in nature so what do you mean by the monoecious uh, species basically they uh, uh, they are the bisexual filaments and uh, in fact there is uh, if you will find uh, a, as a part of a main conclusion about the uh, differentiation of the sexes there is no sexual differentiation basically uh, reported in case of a uh, is that a in, uh, those uh, uh, species of a spiragara having the indirect uh, kind of a mechanism of a um, uh, conjugation over there so as far as concerned with uh, this particular species they are generally referred as a monoecious species and uh, if you will notice here they are uh, more often the filaments in these cases uh, they uh, have the cells uh, in such a way that uh, the zygospores they are absorbed or they are get developed alternating to each other that means there is one cell is empty followed by the another alternative uh, cell it is there and uh, in this way the indirect conjugation may be get easily get recognized from the your uh, microscopic observations also so these are the alternating cells with a zygospore and empty cells so my dear friends uh, let's start with a further discussion on the direct lateral conjugation uh, so you must know one of the greatest pioneer worker in the field of a spiragara research uh, uh, that is uh, professor Iyengar. Uh, he reported that a direct lateral conjugation in spiragara uh, species known as a jogensis so in this spiragara jogensis uh, the filaments they are get attached to the substratum by means of a basal rhizoid like structures and uh, of these uh, uh, species what happens the lower uh, cell basically that becomes a solen and it little bit round uh, so always what happens uh, that uh, basal and solen cell it functions more often as a, a female cell actually so the uppermost uh, cylindrical male cell it remains more often unchanged and uh, this uh, upper cylindrical cell which is remaining unchanged uh, is uh, uh, further uh, involved into the mechanism of a gametic fusion over there so basically what happened a thick highly refractive miscellaneous layer uh, which is get uh, ribbed out longitudinally uh, in the may uh, in the female cell over there is then get secreted by the protoplast of both the cells over there and uh, of course the content of the upper male uh, cell it starts to get develop a conical protuberance uh, on the uh, side very next to the female cell in fact and uh, this is accompanied by the corresponding visible contraction process and uh, this uh, contraction of the protoplast of the male cell uh, at the opposite end it occurs over there the conical protuberances becomes uh, or comes out in contact with the uh, separating septum and uh, they presses against it so it gradually elongates and exerts more and more pressure on the septum and finally it makes a pore at the middle of a septum through which the male gametes migrates into the female cell so as you can see here these uh, septum breakage and and uh, breakage uh, as well as the uh, pore formation is the one of the key factor for the uh, fusion of the gamete in consequent phase as you can see the fusion of a gamete this would be the very very important uh, mechanism uh, in this uh, mechan uh, in this uh, category that is called as a direct lateral conjugation 
uh, it is uh, crystal clear that the male and female gametes they fuse uh, in the female cell only and this female cell is further get converted into the zygospore as you can see here the zygospore it will be get produced into the female cell which is basically basal in a position and in this way the direct lateral conjugation uh, is get completed over there by means of a formation of a zygospore so my dear friends uh, this is not only the uh, species pyrogyra jogensis which is known for the uh, mechanism of a direct direct lateral conjugation although this mechanism itself is a, a rare one but there are some other species have been also get rec uh, recorded uh, from india especially uh, from the kapurthala region the uh, species which is known as spirogyra mirabilis has been get recorded by uh, dr r s raptan uh, during 1967 in fact uh, there are some other species also have been get recorded so i hope that you understood this particular concept of a lateral conjugation uh, although this mechanism it involves uh, uh, the uh, use that uh, differentiation of a, a basal cell and upper cell over there uh, which may be get distinguished more often uh, basal one as a female and upper one to be as a male but the very important key factor to understand about the direct lateral conjugation is that how this particular uh, septum is get broken and uh, how it creates a little part that is get recorded so uh, you have to uh, uh, the review this entire video in fact uh, when as many as time you want to uh, understand this particular mechanism so thank you very much for watching this video in the next video i will uh, make you able to understand the rest of the aspect of the uh, sexual reproduction um, uh, related content that is how zygospore is get produced and undergo the mechanism of a maturation of it so till then uh, keep watching and keep updating yourself so thank you very much